I'm Julian, and I want to tell you about my 1988 W124 300 CE. I just think this car is so cool. I think the looks are fantastic. Bruno Sacco, one of my favourite designers, did such a wonderful job of this car. There isn't an angle from which she doesn't look good. Here's another feature I really love about this car. Watch this. How cool is that? Saves reaching all the way back over your shoulder for the seatbelt. Here's another really cool feature of these cars, the mono wiper. It has the best coverage of any windscreen wiper that I've ever used. Let's take a little look at some of the features of the interior. Now I always thought these controls looked a bit Tonka toy like. No disrespect to Tonka toys of course, but actually they are so so usable. They're really nice to use. They're so easy to see in the dark and you just don't even need to look down at them while you're adjusting things. Special settings for windscreen, which is great, works a treat. And we'll leave it in that position because there are mice that live behind there and squeak if you leave it in the wrong position. This is also a really comfortable car, even if you have long-legged rear passengers. These seats are just very, very comfortable. Oh, and of course, you've got to have the Ultimate 80s accessory for the Ultimate 80s Coupe. There's a lot of legroom in the back of these cars too, despite the fact it's a few inches shorter than the saloon. That's the seat in position for me to drive, and I'm six foot and I can still sit in the back really, really comfortably. I love pillarless coupes. I think they look so good. And it's very, with the sunroof open, that's very nearly as good as a convertible. And speaking of convertibles, all round visibility in this car is a great deal better than my old Audi Cabriolet. Obviously with the roof up, with the roof down, that was a different story. But this has got great all round visibility. She's not in the best of condition. She's done a few miles, as you can probably see from there. And the seats are a bit doggy, the armrests are a bit doggy. Uh, the trouble is, uh, she's had one careful owner, me, and about 35 who didn't seem to care at all. Thought we'd take a quick look under the bonnet before we go, just to show you a couple of the other features of these. One being the bonnet latch, which is very hard to do one-handed. Got to love a couple of the features of this car under the bonnet too. These hinges, easy to operate but very very effective in making the bonnet go completely vertical, which believe me is a very nice thing when you're working on her and you're not banging your head on the bonnet all the time. Uh, Oh, that mono wiper, there she is. Um, yeah, she's looking a bit tired under here, but um, the way she performs is just fantastic. Uh, she's had she's had a new head gasket, you can probably see there. She's had a new radiator. She's had a new header tank. And I'll tell you the story of the, uh, of the head gasket. Proceeding down one of the local roads near me, and I thought, I wonder what that smoke screen is behind me. I hope it's just that Nissan Micra. It wasn't that just Nissan, just that Nissan Micra. The Micra turned off and the smoke screen didn't. So having used a litre and a half of oil in approximately seven miles, I called the rescue and it was back to the garage again. Now I had been thinking about getting the valve stem oil seals done because she was using about a litre of oil every thousand miles which might be intolerant for uh, a British Leyland car of that period, but not for this one. So, uh, and I was gonna have the valve stem oil seals done without taking the head off, but uh, this was obviously just God's way of saying, Julian, go get it done properly. Now, that did produce a big bill because at the same time, we had some new wings. I'll try and dig out a picture of the rather doggy old ones that were on there and didn't Silverstone Garage do an absolutely fantastic job of cutting this in. I cannot find the join somewhere up this A-pillar. 
where the old paint meets the new. And because the, the bonnet was uh, going to be hard to match as well, bless them, they resprayed the bonnet for me as well. So I got a real bargain for that. That's why I love Silchester and that's why I keep going there because they do great stuff for me. Well, that's kind of it for this first video. I hope you've enjoyed a look at Clara, my 1988 300 CE with 186,000 miles on her.